Hello friends, uh, Ashton here. So this is a preview about a new project here in Google Sheet and uh, I call it Tree View. So basically uh, this application here is going to uh, create uh, a tree view here for your data here like this. So let's say you have several uh, levels of data like this. This is like a tree map or something like that. So I think this could be very useful for some content management scenes uh, in uh, Google Sheet here. So basically I'm using the groups here. So you can manually group them one by one, but they're going to be very, they're going to be very painful if you're trying to group this one by one. So as you can see here for this level one, uh, I have this kind of data here for the level one, right? So this is level one on one level here. And for level two, as you can see, we have two. Uh, maybe this this should be uh, one point one, and this is this this should be one point one, and uh, this one one point two. So for one point one, we have a level three here. So one point one point one, and uh, this should be one point one point two. So I think I did something wrong here, but you get the idea. Uh, so here we have a function here, a menu called tree view. And uh, first of all, let's just remove all of them. And if you want to do this manually, you can do it, of course. Uh, but if you have a lot of data, it's going to, I don't know. So maybe, uh, so basically we are trying to group things like this. So like for this 1.1, we can group this right and uh, we select it and uh, go to view and the group so I'm going to group this as a uh, as group like this way right and then we go to this level and uh, let's select uh, this for this group so we basically view and uh, group it like this so we have something like this so you got the idea, but the script here, if I uh, try to run this create function here, uh, I'm going to remove the default, the manually set up as you can see here. Okay, so it's, uh, it's done, and uh, we have all of them collapsed. So we can try to check. So level one, we have a two, uh, so level one, and the two items in this level one, which is level two, 1.2, 1.1, and 1.2. So in 1.1, we have the third level, and 1.1.1, uh, and 1.1.2. And in this level, we have 1.1. So I think I, I do some replacement and uh, I replace all the wrong thing here. So this should be 1.1.2 for the level three. Sorry, not level three, is level four, right? And in this 1.1 point, okay, so this should be one, okay? This is the level four, first item, right? And here we have this 1.1.1. So I think I did something wrong, but you know the idea. Uh, you just need to make sure your data set is, is set up like this way and uh, you can use this tool basically to create these groups automatically for you so as you can see they're grouped like this everything is grouped like this you will see the result and uh, you have this option here to collapse all of them and uh, expand all of them as you can see here so right now this tool is only is only do this to the rows i think it's also possible to group them by columns but i don't think that's going to be very uh, useful i don't know if any use cases for columns to be grouped uh, but right now i think this is more uh, i think it's more natural nature for for us to use it like this way and uh, you, I think uh, on most of the website you will see similar things like this they're grouped like this so uh, 
I don't know if this is native. I don't think they're native support it in Google Sheet. So this could be a useful tool for some of you guys. You're trying to organize your data in this kind of way here. Right? And I think I can simply so let me expand this and uh, let's make a copy of this group one and uh, add it here. So I think this group. So we have two groups here. Let's try to create it. I'm not sure if this is gonna work because I didn't test it. So I only tested the first scenario. It's going to the efficiency is not very good because every time if we create a new group or delete a new group is going to call this uh, Google Sheet API. So as you can see, it's not that fast. But uh, as you can see here, it's working like this. So group one and group two. So this is uh, the trivia we are talking about here as a new tool. And uh, this is just a preview. Maybe I'm going to release a new video about this to explain all of this. And then maybe some bugs I haven't found. Uh, okay, just a preview. That's it. Thank you. Bye bye. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Wake back in.